Clarity Environmental operates several export routes for spent car batteries to smelters across Europe. The recycling process is extremely effective, allowing the lead, plastic and acid components of the battery to be recycled. At the smelters, the batteries are broken, the plastic and acid are removed and sent for recycling. The remaining lead is smelted to produce lead ingots that are then used by Johnson Controls to manufacture new automotive batteries. This video will take you through the quality control and packing process for lead acid batteries, where we have specifically requested that you, as a supplier to Clarity, pack batteries ready for export. Before you start, as you will be handling items that could be potentially contaminated with sulfuric acid, we ask that you observe relevant health and safety guidelines when handling lead acid batteries. Further information can be found on the Health and Safety Executive website. European regulations state that spent lead acid batteries can be transported without the need for ADR trained drivers when the battery cases are undamaged, are secured in such a way that they cannot leak, slip, fall or be damaged, e.g. by stacking on pallets, there are no dangerous traces of alkalis or acids on the outside of the articles. They are protected against short circuits. We are going to take you through how to pack batteries to comply with these requirements. First, we need to cover quality control. One of the main purposes of the packing process is to carry out quality control of the batteries before they arrive at the smelter. It is important that all damaged and leaking batteries are removed. We also need you to remove non-conforming chemical types and all waste. All portable batteries that are not lead acid must be removed. All industrial NICAD batteries must also be removed. Some lead acid traction and standby power batteries may be allowed. To confirm which batteries are allowed, please contact your account manager. Please be aware that should non-conforming batteries or waste be present in a load, Financial penalties are in place. If you are unsure, please ask. Once all damaged and non-conforming batteries have been removed, you can start the packing process. You will require good quality and undamaged wooden pallets, sheets of cardboard to act as separators and to stop short-circuiting, hard pallet stretch film a minimum of 25 microns thick and ideally clear to make inspection of loads easier. Lay the pallet flat onto the ground. Pack one layer of batteries tightly together onto the pallet. Cover the layer with cardboard to cover the battery terminals and start another layer of batteries. Repeat the layers until there is approximately one tonne of batteries on the pallet. This is usually three to four layers. Finally, place a layer of cardboard on top of the batteries before you start wrapping the pallet. When wrapping, sufficient film needs to be used to ensure that the batteries are held tightly in position and that they will not move in transit or when they are being loaded and unloaded from a vehicle. By following these simple steps, you can ensure that your waste will be transported in a way that complies with the ADR requirements and that meets the quality control requirements set out by the smelters.